Hey guys, so this is an interesting algorithm analysis problem I came up, um, I mean I didn't come up with, but uh, I came across. It says, given that a function has a time complexity of theta n squared, if the function takes 338 seconds for an input of size 13,000, how long will the same function take for an input of size 8,000? So the first thing we have to do is kind of set up this problem. Um, they say given a function has a time complexity of theta n squared, well, by the definition of theta n squared, uh, that means that we have a function of time, so we call it t. Uh, make sure that this is nice and clear here. All right. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so we have a function of time with input of size n. And by the data of theta n squared, um, the definition of theta n squared, we know that this is going to be some constant times n squared. Okay, and so now they say, um, let's see, given that a function has a time complexity of theta n squared, if the function takes 338 seconds for an input of size 13,000, so let's write that. So now we know that we have an input of 13,000, and we know that this function takes c times 13,000 squared, because we're trading in our 13,000 for n. And we know that this is equal to 338 seconds. And we want to know how long will it take uh, for a function that's run, that runs the same function for an input of size 8,000. So it's the same function, but just uh, a smaller size, a smaller input size, which is 8,000. Yeah, we don't know what that equals. But we know something. We do know that this is equal to some constant times 8,000 squared. But again, we don't know what this equals because we don't know what that constant value is. But we can determine it from our first equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So by rewriting this first equation, we get C is equal to um, 338 seconds divided by 13,000 squared. Okay, we're going to break this down a little bit. So this is 338 seconds divided by, we're going to say 13 times 10 to the power of 3 squared. Um, all I did, actually I, I'll write it all out here. Um, this is 13 times 1,000 squared. And we can re keep rewriting this. Uh, 338 seconds divided by, now I'm going to do 13 times 10 uh, to the power of 3. All of that squared. I'll come back here and I'll say this is equal to 338 seconds over um, 13 squared times 10 to the 6. And this right here, now we can split it off. So this will be 338 um, divided by 13 squared times 1 over 10 to the power of 6 seconds. And we're going to rewrite this one more time as 338 divided by 13 squared is equal to 169 times 10 to the negative 6, because that's 1 over 10 to the power of 6 seconds. Okay, and now we get this is equal to... 338 divided by 169 is 2. So, so C is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds. So now we have our C value. And we can plug that C value right back into this equation up here. To find out... Um, 
how much time it would take for input for this function to run an input of size 8,000. So now we know that our C is 2 times 10 to the negative 6. So we're going to say it's equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds uh, times 8 times 1,000 squared equals question mark. And all I did, I just broke up what was inside the parentheses here. 8 times eight times 1,000 is equal to 8,000. Okay. So this is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds times, uh, we'll keep going, 8 times 10 to the power of 3 squared equals something. Okay, so this is equal to, uh, let's see here. So this is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds times 8 squared times 10 to the 6. So it's equal something. And this is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 6 seconds times 8 times 8 is 64 and we'll keep this 10 to the power 6 and I'm going to go ahead and erase what C equals here okay and now let's see we're going to combine them a little bit so it's equals 128 that's 2 times 64 times 10 to the power negative 6 seconds times 10 to the power 6 equals question mark and that means that our t of input size 8000 is equal to 128 uh, seconds if you're curious about how i went from 128 times 10 to the negative 6 times 10 to the 6 well it's very simple so uh, Let's say we have 10 to the negative 1. This is equal to 1 over 10 to the power of 1. And let's say we multiply that times 10. So we multiply that times 10 to the 1, we get just 1. So that's exactly what we got here. And actually, I probably should have wrote it out. So let me go ahead and do that as well. So times 1 second equals 128 seconds. So that's how we got the... Uh, 128 seconds there so thank you guys and i hope you enjoyed the video please leave uh comments messages uh likes let me know if i messed up on my math here because it does happen from time to time and thank you all for watching see you on the next video